Hey YouTube, it's Shane here, and this video is part of a multi-part series I'm doing on how to build your own home automation controller. The link for the whole entire series is in the description. In this video, we are gonna be setting up a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi. So the easiest way to do this is to actually use your router. So you just have to log into your router and uh, go to the LAN IP setup menu. Um, I know all routers are not exactly the same as this Netgear, so you have to look for something that's pretty similar. Most of them have the same features. So under uh, LAN IP, in this case it's under advanced, you get this, this page and at the bottom there it says address reservations. And address reservations basically allows us to tell the router, hey, I want you to give this IP address to this device every time it turns on or connects. And that's what we want to do. So, um, but let's go back a little bit. So on this page, you'll see it says use router as DHCP server, and then it says starting address and an ending address. So um, what you'd want to do is basically, the easiest way is just to give your Raspberry Pi the first address, the starting address. Um, so, or anything in that range. You can even give it something out of that range, but I'd probably, I'd recommend you give it something that's in that range. So as you can see, the law, in this case, the last numbers are the one that only really matter. So it's 192.168.12, and then the bottom one is 192.168.151. So basically between 2 and 51 is, is your range. Um, so if we go to add, if we click that add button, and it will pop up a little menu that will say, uh, what do you want the IP address to be? In this case, we could put in 192.168.12, or anything between 2 and 50. Um, and then on the device name part, uh, we just put in whatever you want to call your Raspberry Pi. And on the MAC address part, this is where it gets tricky. We need to know what the MAC address is of the Raspberry Pi. So let's switch over to terminal and uh, we can we can find that out. Okay, so I've just SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi, which I showed you how to do in another video. So um, what we basically need to do is just go, it's go if config, boom. That's all we need to type in there is this simple little word if config. And you'll see under Ethernet, which is this, it'll say Ethernet, it will have the MAC address right there, and that is it. So I would just select that and uh, copy it and uh, go back over to the other page. Okay, so all you need to do is paste your MAC address in that field there, hit the Add button, and you're done. Basically, uh, unplug your Raspberry Pi, plug it back in, and it should have the new IP address.